after a good fight, I like to howl at the moon. Hunter, Wanda is at my shrine, calling out for me. I think she deserves an answer, don't you? Then we should speak with her. I'll meet you at my shrine. <sighs> Ah, Hunter, good to see you. Can you hear me, Fury? Fury, the damn temple seems to be strewn with everything over here. Is there any way we can move the civilians out of the area quicker? We're doing our best. We nearly lost a couple troop carriers flying personnel in over the mountains. And Liberia's closed its borders. That's not helping. Come on, Fury. Transia's population is, what, 20,000? Shield should be able to handle that in a day. 20,000? Try a couple hundred million. This isn't about just one country anymore. We've got to evacuate all of Eastern Europe. I could take a Quinjet and be there in a few hours, Fury. Just give the word. The word is, stay out of it, Cap. Focus on the big picture from there. We've got it handled here. Not well from the sounds of it. Listen, if you think you can... Fury. Fury. Damn. Hunter, you promised me the truth about Agatha. I should let her tell it. Agatha is here? Right now? I'm right here, Wanda. Can you not see me? Agatha? Where are you? Just my voice, then. Better than nothing. Agatha, I... There's so much I have to say to you. Wanda, please. You are my pupil. I shall not have you bear the burden of my death. I lost control. No, I did. I pushed you too far, too fast. Yes, but I have to... My dear, this isn't the first time you visited my grave. I heard all you confessed. There is no need to repeat it. And there is very little time. Cthon grows restless in his slumber. I can aid you in this fight, but I'll need your help, both of you. My connection to this world is tenuous. There is a ritual that can bind me to this place. First, I'll need you to retrieve a memento. What exactly do you want us to bring you? Sarah's grief is my strongest tie to the world. This memento symbolizes our tie to one another. What is it? I don't know, but it's somewhere in her room. The closer I get, the more painful it is. A ghost can feel pain? I'm not thrilled about it. I am unfamiliar with any ritual you describe. It was in one of the books I wouldn't allow you to read. I read many of those books. Yes, you were a precocious child. Those books were decoys. I knew it. I'm sure you did. How should we go about this? Hunter, you know Sarah better than most. I'm relying on you to search her room and find this memento. Whatever it is. And what should I do? Observation and distraction. So, I'm the lookout while the hunter pokes around caretaker's room? I do it myself, but... Oh, it's no problem. One of my favorite shows involves a weekly heist. Now, both of you promise me Sarah cannot know about the ritual. Not until it's done. Why not? The more she knows, the less chance we have to pull it off. Hmm. Well, I have kept your secret this long. And I can keep it as well. Good. I believe in you both. You can count on us. Wanda. She already left. Oh. Well, time to sneak into Caretaker's room and steal one of her heirlooms. Let's go before I talk myself out of it.
You and me both. Right behind you. Hunter, I'm outside the door. As soon as you find it, I'll give you the all clear. outside caretaker's room nothing and i'm not outside her room you're leaning against the door oh i guess i am but i'm waiting on the hunter oh for what i'm going to confess my feelings what it's true i have strong feelings for the hunter. Did I just stumble into the hottest Abbey gossip since Blade and Captain Marvel? They're together? It's complicated, but never mind that. You. Uh. Nico, do you mind if I wait alone? Oh, right, right. Good luck. All right, she's gone. Hurry up. This is harder than it looks on television. How's it going in there? Found it. All oh, right. Wanda. Costa's caretaker. Hi. How are you, uh, doing? I'm tired. It's been a long day. Oh, I know the feeling. We should, um, take a walk around the Abbey. Why would we do that? It's good to, you know, get the blood flowing after a long day. So how about we... Wanda, it's late. I'm going to bed. I want to talk to you about Agatha. You do? I... Can we take that walk? It's about something she said to me about you. Wanda, this topic is out of bounds. I'm not asking to be forgiven. I know I'll never make it right. But I have a wonderful memory of Agatha speaking fondly of you. It's not fair to keep it from you. So, can we take that walk, please? <sighs> All right. A short walk. A short walk. You'll be back in a, a few minutes. At most. <clears throat> Let's go. I'd like to get this over with. That's <clears throat> perfectly clear. Are you all right? Just a small cough. <clears throat> Why don't we head through the yard? Hunter. Ileana. What were you doing in caretaker's room? <laughs> I was never here, and you never saw me. I can respect that. Are you out? Uh -huh. Good. You know where to meet me. So. I never want to do that again. Confess your feelings prematurely? I know, it was not ideal, but the heart wants what it wants. You know I can turn you into a frog, right? So you can restore me with a kiss? Ha <laughs> moving on. So what next? I'll take the, what was it? A locket. Hmm. I assume Agatha will tell us how it fits into the ritual. And that I shall. Agatha, we have caretaker's memento. I know. I can feel it. Would you be a most faithful apprentice and place a ward upon it? Of course. That's better. Now, do you recall the binding ritual in the Libris Illicitus? The Grey Seneschal? But that's... Forbidden, yes. I was going to say extremely dangerous. And I would never suggest it unless the circumstances were this dire. What is this ritual exactly? 
The Grey Seneschal requires an item that binds a spirit to a person or place. Why is it so dangerous? Because the first step of the ritual is to destroy that item. And for a short time, the spirit is extremely vulnerable to dissolution, to possession, to destruction. I am not entirely comfortable with this. But if you are taking the risk, I will support you. I am so proud to know the person you've become, Hunter. Trust me when I say the risk is worth it. Should the ritual work as expected, everyone in the Abbey will be able to hear me, to see me. I'll be able to help when it's most needed. We do this when the moon is right. But it all falls apart if Sarah learns what we're planning. Why? This ritual is one of hers. She made it centuries ago. She knows how great the risks and how slim the odds. And there's no chance in hell she'll allow Wanda to lead the ritual. Yet for us to succeed, Wanda, it must be. No, I can't do this. Wanda, this ritual's power lies in its inherent contradictions. And what greater contradiction can there be than for me to restore your spirit to life? But Agatha, if I lose control... You won't. How do you know? Because you're my best apprentice. Because you learn from your mistakes. And because I want you to know I truly forgive you. For that to happen, you'll need to see it in my eyes. <sighs> All right. Now to prepare. Wanda, I'll be in your room. We'll go over every step of the ritual. I'll meet you there. She already... I know. Hunter, do you believe I can do this? Yes. I have no doubt. Why? Because you are the only person who ever resisted my mother's control as one of her fallen. It wasn't enough. It was just enough. That is why you are here. <sighs> okay. When the moon is right. When the moon is right. No pressure. We're witnessing the biggest humanitarian crisis unfolding in Europe since World War II and no one seems to have a handle on it. Fury wants me here to handle the big picture, but it's looking more like a nightmare by the minute. I need to be in transia to help. With no signal, I'm not doing any good standing here. Fury is right. If he is caught in that mess, it does no good for you to be stuck in it with him. I feel useless here. Trust me, you are not useless. I know I should rest, but that's not happening until I know Fury's safe. Carol and I may be pulling an all-nighter. Do not neglect your sleep, Cap. I can either have bad dreams when I sleep or a waking nightmare right here. At least here I can keep my mind occupied. <sighs> I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost.
Good girl, Charlie. I just wanted to say I appreciate you leaning on me out there in the field, but I feel you deserve fair warning. Associating with me too much can be hazardous to your health. Hazardous? What do you mean? I mean Sabretooth. He's killed everyone I've ever been close to. Girlfriends, co-workers, casual pals. He even killed my mail carrier. This Sabretooth seems to have an unhealthy obsession with you. He's obsessed with misery, and inflicting it on me and anyone who comes close to me. Nothing scares me much these days, except getting close to people. Because when I get close to someone, bad things tend to happen to them. So, I guess what I'm saying is, thanks for being a pal. And watch your back. <laughs> Finally restored satellite connection to Transia. Get it up on the screen, now. Hydra's fist grows tighter around Transia, and now Lilith's twisted children roam free. A glimpse into all our futures if we fail to stop her. Those people need to evacuate. Are those Hydra soldiers blocking the bridge? Not just soldiers. That's... Hey, Captain Wonderboy! Can you hear me? Crossbow. I know you're hiding out in your little fun house. So listen up. No one's getting out of this country except in a body bag. Or unless you're brave enough to swap places with them. So what do you say? You're man enough to face me? <laughs> Anytime, Rumlo. I can't just stand here and let Rumlo get away with this. Rumlo's taunting me, trying to get me to engage. He wants you to fight him. Going to Transia would play right into his hands. Yet I can't stay here and do nothing. Those people need us. We are going to Transia sooner or later. And no matter what Crossbones has planned, we are going to hit him so hard, he will not know where he is anymore. That's the spirit. We just have to be careful. If there are two possible angles on a fight, Rumlo staked out the third. So then, what is your plan? My plan is to stop Rumlo no matter what. If he's going to fight anyone, he's going to fight me. After that, I'll make it up as I go along. Rumlo's not going to get away from me again. Not this time. Our transient situation's getting worse. Central is ready to work. Just more evil junk. Don't these people... We're ready to make a move. As you wish. Stay out of trouble. All right, Midnight Suns. Time to shake off the past and train to kick some ass. And we can't rewind the clock and change it. Because Doctor Strange lost all his time travel totems in New York. Oh, so are we just gonna train the pain away? It works in every single boxing movie I have ever seen. Are we so desperate that cinema is our inspiration? We are ants to Cathan. We must fight together or we will fail. Focus! I agree with Blade and the Scarlet Witch. This is why we get our asses kicked out there. We're not Avengers. We're lucky to be alive. It wasn't my intention to insult the idea, Blade. Yes, training together helps us learn how to cover each other's blind spots. 
Imagine if Blaze decided to stick with us the whole time. We'd be unstoppable. Exactly, Robbie. It makes us stronger. I really don't want to say we are the Midnight Suns or anything like that. It's too cheesy for me. So just consider that general vibe expressed. Take all that big listening to each other energy and pretend we have to launch Spider-Man across a hellscape of demons and brimstone like he's a football. Yes, that's the spirit, everyone. Wait, why are we practicing that particular scenario again? Don't you just want to hop in and show them how it's done? Only if I can pick the training montage music. You seem like a 90s teen pop kind of guy. Maybe something with lots of cowbell. Ugh, disco? Just because you have adamantium claws doesn't mean you get to knock disco. Join us, Tony! Come on, Wolverine. Nope. I open portals so I don't have to do car deal. My physique takes care of itself. We gotta get stronger. Everyone. been meaning to ask, when you woke up and saw a half-vampire in the Abbey, well, was your first thought about killing me? You have not proven yourself an enemy, so I did not treat you as such. As long as you think fast, there's a fine line between choosing your target and hesitating. If I ever... If I become a threat to the rest of you, or to the people out in the world. What I'm asking is, if I lost control, would you stop me? Could you do what needs doing? Do you want me to promise I will? If I began to treat people like food, if I killed the innocent for the sport of it, damn right I want to promise. I am the hunter. I have slain hundreds of wicked creatures and rescued dozens from such a fate. So? So, I am the best judge of when you are too far gone to save. Guess I can respect that. Why bring this up? I don't know how Lilith does her thing, but I refuse to become one of her fallen. If there's ever a question, I want you to know my answer. I understand. All right, then. Didn't expect to have that much fun. We doing this again. I like you, but awesome. Thanks, Hunter. 